Tell me about the kid that you, uh, Sabrina, that you met in the, in the, in the parking lot with a fever. Oh gosh. And what happened the next day? Cause I think that exemplifies corporate medicine. It really does. And it was the nail in the coffin for me, quite frankly. So, so I had, I had a full day of clinic and my wonderful nurse came to me at the end of the day. She'd been putting out fires all day. And she said, this, this mom called at eight 30 this morning. I just haven't been able to get back to her. Baby has a fever, we year old, 18 month old, something like that. And I said, fine. I, you know, it was like six o'clock. I'm just trying to get home for family dinner. I'll call her from the car. So I'm driving home. I'm speaking to this mom. It's clear to me that this child has a fever. If the child is not seen and checked, for instance, for like an ear infection, then that kid's going to end up in the emergency room. So I said, all right, well, meet me in the parking lot. The clinic's closed, but I'll, I'll examine the baby and we'll just keep you out of the emergency room tonight. So I turned around and went back to the parking lot at our clinic, examined the baby. What I told the mom is now two, almost three days of fever. I said, if the baby still has high fever tomorrow, you need to come in and we have to do a urine. And, and so call our office. And so I went back into the office. Everyone was gone. I sent, you know, the way you're supposed to do it. I sent staff messages. I charted and I left post-it notes, which is the ultimate way that we communicate in medicine, right? So in addition to all the formal ways of communicating, I put post-it notes on my nurse's desk saying, FYI, I'm not going to be here tomorrow, but this patient may be calling or maybe coming in if they have fever. And so the next day I start getting frantic phone calls from people in the clinic saying this mother just walked in to COVID clinic with a fever, which by the way, I designed the way that we get into clinic. So they couldn't have walked in with a fever. I mean, they certainly couldn't have been triaged at the door, but regardless, I think the mom's impression was my baby has a fever. I'm bringing them in. And so that was their first issue. And then they just couldn't figure out how to get this kid in for uh, 